What's going on everybody? Antonio Petroli here with a quick tutorial on how to label your input and output devices in Reaper. So my old interface just died and I just got a new one. So while I'm doing this and configuring it, I figure I would make a little tutorial. And for those of you who find this useful, it'll be a nice little thing to put in your arsenal. So all we're gonna do here is go to the top right corner and click our device settings. And we're gonna scroll up and click the audio tab. And you're going to see at the bottom, there's channel naming and mapping, and we have input channel remapping and output channel remapping. So all we're going to do here is go into our input channel remapping, and this is going to be our aliases for all of our inputs that we're going to build, and then the actual hardware names which correspond to your interface. So I took some time and went ahead to build a little mapping and notepad just so I know what I'm mapping here. So you can see input one and two are my front mics for this is the Sapphire 18i20 and uh, all the other inputs and outputs that I have. So all I'm gonna do is go to input one, double click it, put the alias name, we're gonna make this front mic one. Input two is gonna be front mic two. And for input three, I actually have this as an unused input on my interface. I would recommend that you guys also put unused if you have an input that's not being used because otherwise you're going to either think you mislabeled it or you're going to be wondering what the hell is that input. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. All right, so that's all of my inputs that are mapped. One thing I would recommend is that if you do have a hardware device with multiple inputs or outputs, uh, make sure you just specify. So for instance, I have an ISO 1 preamp here. If I just put ISO 1 for both of these, one, it probably wouldn't let me, and two, I wouldn't know which is which. So in this case, I know that this is the DI output and this is the mic output. So go ahead and click OK. And to actually enable this, you have to click this little checkbox, which is gonna say that you want to use these maps. And then what you're gonna do is click apply as well. If you don't click it apply, it's not gonna apply. So if you go ahead and create a new channel, you can see all of your inputs are built here. So the last thing we'll do real quick is build our output remappings. For most of you, you probably aren't even gonna to wanna to do this because you only outputs you probably have are for your studio monitors. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to put them because I actually use a reamp box and my other outputs are going to my Mackie Big Knob, which actually handles all of my um, mappings for my studio monitors and headphones. So we're gonna click the checkbox here, and jump in here and just put Big Knob L. Oh, let's misspell that. And then we're going to do big knob R. And then finally, I have a radial JCR reamp box. And we're going to put OK. Click Apply. And now if I go into Route and I want to say I have an audio hardware output, so maybe I'm sending a uh, guitar DI out. I'll know I'm gonna send it to my radial JCR and it's labeled right there. So one thing that's super nice about this is it actually carries over to all projects, any new ones that you create as well as, as existing ones because this is built into your audio device uh, settings. So that's all I have for this. If you like it, subscribe, comment, share and all that fun stuff and I will catch you guys next time.